We first reported on Sunday when two Omaha police officers helped save two families from a burning apartment, one family hearing impaired. Well, today we sat down with the officers responsible for the rescue and they shared their experience with us. Here's Amanda Crawford. It's almost cliche, but this fire could have been much worse. Worse if Officer Michael Wright hadn't smelled smoke while on patrol and then turned down 14th Street to see what looked like a fire. Upon a closer look, I could see the actual balcony was on fire. And Wright radio dispatch and ran to bang on the doors. The bottom door, the lower level, uh, I, didn't, I didn't get any type of response. It was knocking pretty loud. The top level, we went around the back and there's a stairwell to reach the top. Wright says we, because moments after his radio call, backup arrived in the form of Officer Shithada Hester. While he started pounding on the door, I started hitting the siren and the air horn on the cruiser. Hester then ran up these back stairs to help Wright, but didn't come empty-handed. Officer Hester had the quick thinking that our cruisers carry fire extinguishers in them, so he grabbed his fire extinguisher. Wright started to gather the family and tell them what was going on and get them out. I ran to the uh, front of the structure and attempted to extinguish the fire, but it was going pretty good. Hester slowed the fire down before the extinguisher ran out, and that's when they learned that the family members downstairs were deaf. At which point we, uh, we went downstairs and were able to make contact with the, the lower level residents, the, the hearing impaired family. By now, Omaha Fire was putting the fire out, and the two officers went back to their usual job, controlling traffic to keep the firefighters safe. But almost a week later, they've had a chance to think about what could have happened. I think that Officer Wright's situational awareness really saved several lives. What we, myself and Officer Hester did was nothing that none of the other members of the Omaha Police Department would have.